Hi, welcome to another edition of Tying Tips. Today the episode is The Eyes Have It. I use a lot of bead chain eyes when I, in my tying and I've always looked for a way to paint these eyes. I've never had really never found a good way to do it. I'd used fingernail polish, I had used uh, like model enamel, different things. The basic problem was is the colors available in some things weren't as good like fingernail polish, some strange colors, some interesting colors, but not always what I needed. And then the uh, drying time. You know, if you wanted to tie something up that night that had an unusual color or something, you couldn't do that because you had to paint them, dry them. And the other problem I had was chipping. Um, it seemed like anything at all and the paint would chip off real, real easy. So I've been looking for something with which to paint my bead chain eyes for a long time. I was saw a video of a guy who was doing jigs, lead head jigs, and he was using a powder paint to do it. And basically he was heating the jigs up in an oven, uh, dipping them, uh, putting it back in the oven, setting them, and I thought, now why couldn't I use that for bead chain? So I uh, thought I'd give it a try. I bought a couple of bottles and tried it. It worked real well. Uh, they don't chip nearly as bad, although it will chip if you hit it hard enough. But it does a good job, and more importantly, it happen you can get it done really quick. You have your color when you need it, and uh, you can mix the colors and get whatever color you want. So that's what today is about, is using powder paint for painting bead chain eyes, and then another couple little tricks along the way I found in doing mono eyes, kind of doing the same thing. So let's get started. Now, like I said, I'm a collector of bead chain, and you can see I uh, got a little piece here, and I think this actually came off of a ceiling fan that was being thrown away. Um, I've been known to, when I replaced a toilet uh, chain uh, with something different, I would take the chain out of it and use it. Anywhere I can find bead chain, I claim it. What you do is you, uh, you know, for using bead chain, you just cut it up into pieces of, of two pieces of bead and you end up with this. And so you have the uh, two little eyes and that becomes your, uh, that becomes your eyes. And when you tie them on, you're going to tie them onto the hook, and they're going to look something like that when you tie them on. But gold is nice, but it may not be the color you're looking for. You may be looking for a number of different colors. So, for example, you may be looking for an orange or a yellow or any number of other colors. Powder paint comes in a lot of different colors. Here you can see, this is something I got at Bass Pro. This comes in black. I got it in red comes in watermelon, uh, root beer, any number of colors. And before you use it, first thing you want to do is kind of shake it up and loosen the material up inside the container. Use a couple of things when I'm doing this. You need a, uh, some copper wire or something to hold the eyes with. I've tried using tweezers and they don't work as well. You also need a lighter. Um, not too powerful. Don't use a butane torch. Actually, that was one of the mistakes I made the first time. If you get it too hot, you just get a get big blob of paint. It doesn't do what you want it to. And, uh, and of course, you need some bead chain. Starting out, you basically want to hook the wire around the bead chain. To uh, just, You're just trying to hold it in place. And I'll leave it just kind of like that. You can see I've got it on the end. Go ahead and open your container of paint. And you can see here that it's kind of, kind of loose up in there. Heating is kind of tricky. You're going to have to learn. But one key is don't overheat it or else you end up with a big blob. Also, kids, if you're, uh, if you're kind of young, don't be playing with lighters in your tying room, particularly if there's a lot of uh, head cement and all open. Please be very, very careful with this. Uh, kids will do it with your parents' supervision, please. So do be very careful using an open flame around your tying room or anywhere that you might have flammables. Make sure the area is clear of flammables. So what I'm going to do is get the lighter going, and I'm just going to wave a couple of times that way, flip it over a couple of times that way. At that point, I'm just going to dip it in and knock the excess off. The key here is, now what we did, we got a, a base layer put on, but it's not set. So what we want to do now is we want to just quickly pass it that way, pass it that way. And now what we have is black bead chain eyes. So that's the basic process. Now a few caveats. One of them is that if you are doing white 
White is a really, really hard color to do because when you kiss it with the flame, it wants to turn black. The other one is that um, don't overheat once you put it on because no matter what color you're using, it have the same problem. Now, when I was showing this to a friend of mine, he commented, well, why don't you just do it while it's on the hook? And I said, well, I'm afraid I'll burn the thread off. And, but then he, it got me to thinking like, well, why don't I try it one time? Because I might not burn the thread off the hook. So in doing that, I decided to give it a go. What we have here, I don't know if you can see it real well, is I've got, I've tied some bead chain onto a hook. This happens to be a jig hook. I've been doing some work with some jig type flies lately, but it's just tied in with thread. And so what we're going to do is we're going to basically see if we can dip this guy. We're going to make him red because I think that's a really good color. So I shook up my paint. Now in this case, I'm going to, you do have to be careful because it will burn the thread, but I'm going to basically just kind of do what I did before. And then I'm going to dip the whole thing in paint. Tap it off. So now the whole end's been done in paint. Notice how I got the eye also. And then we're going to take and we're going to just wave the flame, just kiss it real good. And we have red, dark red bead chain. Comes to a real glossy finish. Very, very durable. And we didn't damage the thread wraps. Now we restart our thread, tie the fly in whatever manner we want to. The last thing I ran into, I got to thinking about uh, monofilament eyes. We start out with some 40 pound hard mason. I'm going to just get it going. Probably won't even light it. Get a little bead going, dip it in the paint. Now it's a little rough looking right now. So you can kind of see there, it's, it looks pretty good, but it's not as glossy as I like, so I tend to hold it vertical, get my lighter, just kiss it a couple of times. It also lets it drape back down. And now I've got a perfect mono eye with that black finish. Now you want red, you want yellow, just change the color of your powder paint. You can have whatever color eyes you want. Very durable and you're done in just a few seconds. So powder paint and all the different colors it comes in is a really good way to color your eyes for fly fishing and fly tying. Whether it be mono, bead chain, lead, whatever else. It's a hard finish, it's easy to use, and one of these bottles is probably a lifetime supply and they're not that expensive. In fact, you can probably go in with some friends and divide it up. Lots of different colors. You can blend them together. For example, if I did a red and an orange, you know, yet red and a yellow together to make an orange to match a fly. I have a brown for a fly that I tied. I wanted the bead chain not to show. So I did it in a color that would match with, blend with the rest of the fly. And then I used the black mono eyes to be the eyes on the fly. Lots of good techniques, lots of ways to use it. Suggest you try it if it might meet your needs. Thanks for tuning in to Tying Tips and Tight Lines. Thank you.